I had some questions on how to make the Fox Swingers work with the, the Delcom TXIs. Um, this one hasn't been done yet. You can see uh, if I plug this in, turn the alarm on, it's not going to light up. It's not happy. So what you have to do is you have to change the polarity. And it won't light up. You have to change the polarity inside the swinger itself uh, to make the LED work. Now this one's been done already and hopefully in this light you'll be able to see see it light up. I don't know how well that's going to work but um, I lost. Where? Let's see. Alright, yeah, I guess you can see it flashing there. Uh, it's really easy to do so all you need is a screwdriver, a soldering iron, and of course a can opener. Um, first thing you do is shut that alarm off. And then you just have to take the screw off. Okay. And you pop it open like that. And you can see the LED uh, with the wires in there. Um, basically all you're doing is changing the leads, switching them over from uh, one connection to the other. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, probably takes a soldering iron longer to heat up than anything else. Um, and this, these wires are fairly fragile and you don't want to damage the LED, so try to push the wire through the end a little bit so you don't have to pull on, on the LED itself and uh, risk snapping the cable. So just feed that through a little bit. Let's see, it comes out there. And then you can grab the wire instead of the LED and pull. Um, so my iron, my iron is already heated up, warmed up, whatever you want to say. I'm a sound guy, not an English major. Um, so you just heat it up and pop it off. Pretty easy stuff. There we go. Um, and then solder it in the opposite way. Solder it back on. So just get those in position. Again, really quick, really easy job. If you've never soldered before, uh, I think even someone who's never soldered could figure it out. Um, and I'm not great at soldering myself, so if I can do it, you can do it. Um, it's kind of hard to do with the camera in the way, but uh, or my phone, I guess. Mm. I'm going to probably speed this part up because I look like a, sound like a babbling idiot right now. So anybody who knows me is not surprised by that. So that's soldered into place. Now I've tested it out. That took a lot longer than it should have, but I never claim to be good at what I do. Focus. Focus. There we go. Uh, plug it in. Turn on the alarm. And now it works. So, uh, crank down the sensitivity right here. It's just that easy. So, now I'll do. So, I'll put it back together. Pull the wire back through the back end until it's about there ish. Not too specific or anything. Um, and just set it back into place. It's really just putting it back together at this point. So, make sure the LED is generally placed where it needs to be. Um, a little rubber piece back on. Put the other half back together. There we go, there's that. Uh, you want to look inside. I'm going to look in here to make sure the LED is seated properly. Um, it just sticks out a little bit. And you'll know it's in there right when the whole thing uh, tightens together the way it should. Um, so, there's that. Put the screw back in. And you're done. And you're ready to go fish. So, the other thing... Uh, done is I'm using my I'm using them with the D locks 
I think on the older models of the swingers, uh, the ends are not right angle ends. I think they're straight ends. So I don't think if you have if you have the older ones without the right angle, I don't think this will work at all. But what you can do with the the D lock is you can pull uh, pull this piece off. That's for holding on the the Delcom swingers. Maybe maybe you can pull it off. There we go. Um, and then what I've done is I've just cut this part with a Dremel and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. I'll just cut it quick. Uh, real easy, quick cut. That's what it looks like when it's done. And then the holes are still there, so if you do decide not to clean that up, it doesn't look very nice right now, but um, if the holes are still there, so if you decide you want to put these back on, you can still have the option. You can use the Delcom swingers if you need to, if you want to. Although, I'm not sure why you would want to. Just kidding, they're fine. They're great swingers. So anyway, here's one that's it's already been done. The D-lock is on there. The uh, little tab for holding the swinger is on there. Um, you can see that that's already been cut. I don't know why I keep the little bar on. Whatever. It's you don't again. You don't need it. But uh, this way you can just plug it, plug in the swinger, plug the swinger right in there, and then uh, the whole thing just slides on, slides right out of the D-lock system as normal. And then the swinger goes right on the tab, eventually. There you go. And it's all done. Ready to go. Kind of an awkward shot, but kind of an awkward video. So, that's that. If there's any questions, let me know. Um, and, uh, yeah, good luck out there, guys. Thanks.